prophet TB Joshua is still performing miracles. He is still healing the sick. All it takes is for you to visit the synagogue shrine of all nations and lay on his tombstone. Then you will receive your healing instantly. You just have to take that leap of faith. Take a flight to Nigeria. Visit the synagogue. Go and lay flat on the tombstone and you'll see how your life will be transformed. I was listening to this testimony from this particular brother who was diagnosed of a heart disease. He went to synagogue, laid flat on the tombstone, and he received instant healing. This brother had gone to all the churches. He had gone to all the professional medical practitioners, but none could cure his heart condition. But when he went to TB Joshua's tombstone, the disease was history. Just listen to the short snippet of his testimony. It really moved me. It all started last year. I woke up in the morning. I discovered that I have chest pain. I didn't take it serious. The pain continued. I went to pharmacy. I bought drugs. All to no avail. Not until I called family doctor. I told him that, doctor, I'm feeling pain in my chest. He called me to his hospital. I went for x ray They did all manner of tests. The results showed I have hypertensive heart disease. During that period, I did everything. Doctor also gave me a pee. I took all those pees. The food the doctor asked me I should avoid, I avoid them all. With that, pain still persists. The pain continued. On June 5th, the second anniversary of Prophet T.B. Joshua, I decided to come to Synagogue Church of All Nation. When I came, just like every other person, it was our turn to go where the man of God was resting. I lay my whole body there. Just like the bone of Elisha, anyone that had encounter with the bone got healed. And when I stood up, I saw something left me immediately. Something left me immediately. And... This is very interesting. Do you see how they have turned the tombstone of T.B. Joshua into a monument of idolatry. Now people literally go there, bow their heads, go on their knees, and start praying to the God of TB Joshua, or start worshiping the tombstone so that they can receive healing. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? On the flip side, let me give you a mind-blowing revelation. I told you that TB Joshua staged his death, and I know one day, one day is one day. You can be emotional all you want at the moment. But one day is one day. The truth will surface. You can't hide the truth forever. He cannot hide forever. The reason why they placed that tombstone inside synagogue, it was all meant to make sure that no one will ever have access to what is inside. The reason why they paraded that, that transparent casket with T.B. Joshua showing, it was all meant to reinforce the gimmick and make the world believe that indeed he is gone. But I'll tell you this, my people. I'll let you in on something that is very special. A revelation that is beyond your imagination. T.B. Joshua is chilling. T.B. Joshua is watching all of us. He's listening to me as I speak. T.B. Joshua didn't go anywhere. Let's leave the gimmick of staging his own death aside. So let's ask these questions now. These important questions regarding the testimony. People are going to synagogue to lay flat on T.B. Joshua's uh, tombstone, and they are receiving healing. It's definitely not that structure of cement that is conducting these healing sections. It's definitely T.B. Joshua's spirit. We should agree that there's no way that cement is healing the people, but it's T.B. Joshua's spirit. Let's take that one. Yes. So this technically means that T.B. Joshua's spirit is still at large. It's still healing the sick. Now it's a selling point to all those who had lost faith in synagogue, to all those who thought T.B. Joshua is no more. There is now a revelation that T.B. Joshua's spirit is still alive in synagogue. People, you can still come and receive your healing. You can still come and be blessed. You can still come and tap into the anointing of T.B. Joshua. My people, do you believe that that tombstone is actually healing the sick? Be honest with yourselves. Do you actually believe that that structure of cement is healing the sick? Should we test it and take 10, not 10, 2, okay, not 2, 1, physically disabled person 
just to see if we can get a testimony. Should we? Even if we do, we will not get no result. I'll tell you this for sure. All the people you ever gi hear giving testimonies about how they were healed and delivered, those illnesses and diseases are something that is beyond your physical inspection. They will talk about my heart having had this dysfunction. They will talk about my lung, my liver, my pancreas, my large intestines, small intestines, organ failure, all those sort of things. But no one who actually has a physical impairment will ever give a testimony. This is a gimmick. It has been a gimmick. And I don't say this to make his followers feel some type of way. It's just the truth. A day is coming. All of you will apologize to Mr. PDT. Mr. PDT, you were right. Mr. Because this is not going to stay hidden forever. A day is very close. Mark my words. TB Joshua will be discovered. One day is one day. The truth will surface. And it will set you free. Now tell me. Do you believe this miracle? Do you believe these testimonies that TB Joshua's spirit or tombstone is healing the sick? Now Mugus are flocking there to idolize the tombstone, to worship the tombstone, to give their prayers to the tombstone and expect to receive deliverance and healing from the tombstone. How different are they now to Roman Catholics who bow down before statues of Mary? Okay, let's leave the Roman Catholics for a minute. Let's focus on the new a statue that has been placed right inside synagogue that has led mass to masses flocking there to bow down and worship. Where are we going with this? My people, wise up and wake up. Tell me what you think in the comments.